Hey guys, it's me Nathan and welcome back to Let's Play Subnautica. Right, I've done a little bit more stuff since I've been off, like, on the background. Let's just say... Welcome the prawn suit is now online. fully upgraded to its depth module, which is 900 meters deep. So I'm just gonna... and also... The Cyclops on the prone suit is now update, upgraded to 1,300 meters deep as well. So that's deep enough to go back into the lava zone. But before I do that, I need to go back. Because I haven't gone back to the gun yet and I want to go in there. Because that might be why the uh, Sea Emperor hasn't contacted me yet because I haven't gone in there and re I just realised that and also there's a few more other stuff I want to work on before going into the lava zone right where's the there they are I'll take the orange one as well back in there so yeah we got quite a lot of stuff to get through. Shouldn't take us too long to get through most of them though. Yeah, it shouldn't take us too long. Right, the gun's not this way. The gun is over that way over there. Actually where life pod two is, so that'd be good. Ooh, and I also got another message come through as well, so I'll check that out. So the first thing I need to do is check out this life pod. So yeah, Seamoth is at maximum depth, which can go to the Seamoth can go 900 meters deep, which is actually deep enough to go down into the Lost River with. So if I ever want to quickly do quick trips down there now, I don't have to panic over the Cyclops and Seamoth, Seamoth, Cyclops and. I can't remember the prawn suit, that's the one. I don't have to worry so much about keep going into there to go down there now. However, there is one thing I do want to use it for, is obviously this can't go down into the lava zone. But I can pretty much go everywhere else with it now. Which is quite cool. Okay, here I am at the uh What are you? Let me self scan a moment. See what. Self scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Okay. And we'll be finding that out sooner or later. Well, we know already know what it is. We've already cured it on the old save, but. Right, let's see what you got to say. Play partially translated broadcast. Destroyed mode. Patrol. New targets unaccounted for. One. Okay, it was the warpers. It was the warpers message, which is fair enough. So the gun is this way somewhere. At least it should be anyway. I'm hoping it is. Yep, there it is. Happy days. Have I checked that out before? Yeah, I think I have. I recognise it. Yep, I did. Anyway, I'm not concentrating on them at the moment. I left little Fred behind. As I don't want him getting hurt. 
Oh, the life pod is pretty much right by the island. Actually, no, it's not. It's still quite far away. But I will be checking life pod 2 out as well. But first, I want to just go inside the gun because I haven't done that yet. And ion cubes and stuff like that can really help for in the future. Where are you, Randy? I want to get to as close to the gun as possible. But also keep an eye out for Randy. Ah! I don't think he's this high up. He's more lower down, I think. But this is the closest I can get. There we go. But okay then. Put that in. Okay then. Let me make sure. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Okay. Discovered inside an alien city, it was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It is luckily a solid state computer, although there is no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected. Sensory appearance apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Assessment was further research required. Okay then. Right, let's pick you up. Scan you first. I are cubes. Pretty. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Most likely functional, as this is a giant gun. I shoot stuff from the sky. Another data terminal. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Enforcement platform schematic. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Right, okay. Okay, this this data set appears to be multi dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern of three dimensional space. It is possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. Construction's material. The facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard non-reactive metal amalgam. Synthesized from off-world materials, there is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by available means. Power. The schematic indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. The location is not listed, but there is evidence the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. Wow, okay. Layout. The facility consists of the upper engineering section where this schematic was found, and the control room which is accessed via the, a security sealed elevator shaft or a separated, separate underwater moon pool. The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with this facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operate procedure or installed security measures. Okay then. There's a lot more information on the gun itself. Whee! There we go. Right. 
the underwater moon pool, I presume. It's like their own specialised moon pool. I, I hate, I dread to think how big their ships actually was. Right, we're here now. More ion cubes. Oh, hello. And uh, it's a teleporter. It's a teleporter, okay. But the function is somewhere else. Might be on the other island. I'm not too sure if I found out before or not. No, ah, we'll find out. We'll find it sooner or later. Hey, there's another tablet. Alien device. Let's scan the alien device. Doomsday device. Scans indicate the device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet, along with most of the solar fish solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. <laughs> Woo! So nothing can destroy this planet. Well, I'm pretty sure there is, but not that. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Good. Even though we all know we can't turn it off until we get cured from the disease. Let's go here. Oh, hello. Casting a message. Translation reads: okay. Warning: Infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Okay. We all knew that anyway. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. Oh, okay. Alien facilities locations. Ah. Oh! Tell me where the locations are. Disease research facility, depth 800 meters, location, cave systems with extensive fossils record. Yep. Thermal power plant, depth 2000. Inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic activity. We all know where that is. Primary containment facility, data corrupted. They didn't want people to find out where that was now. But I already know. Huh? Nope, wrong way. That's a weapon. Oh, hello, I got a communication. I got a radio broadcast. Oh boy. I'm gonna get killed now. I'm being chased by a warper. Oh wait, no, not anymore. But there's also a Reaper Leviathan somewhere. <sighs> if only I can see him. I can't see a thing. Right, let's go see what this life pod 2 is about. This goes below 500 meters deep. Oh my god, this is deep. How deep does that go? Well, we're not over 500 meters deep yet, so this isn't where the life pods sunk to. Thank God I can go over 300 meters deep now. Ah, 
guys, over here. Ooh, hello. Alright, new blueprint. The music just went into it. <gasps> Synthetic fibers, I can make you now. Oh, that means I can make the dive suit before I go into the lava zone. Yes. Right, the music just went into it. Well, where's life pod two gone? Ah, down there. Whoa! This is a whole world. Oh, it's you guys again. Wow, something. Uh. Okay then. Chief Technical Officer. New PDA data. Flotation devices failed. We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge pump. It's working. Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. What do we do? Oh. We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. I know where this is now. That's another way into the, uh... Yeah, that's another way into the Lost River. So that's what Life Pod 2 was. I've got another distress call, I believe it's gonna be. So I'm gonna head back to the Life Pod. So I shall not be long. Uh, let's see what this message is then. Whoa, okay. Yeah. Don't know what the hell that was. Right, anyway. Back to the main base! Meow. <laughs> Meow. Meow. <laughs> oh, look at that. Stan is after me. No. Tough luck, Stan. I'm faster than you. Gary! I see New York then. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah, that's what I thought. Keep forgetting how much silver is actually around here. And let's pack you up inside. Still 500 power, nice. That's how I like it. Growing creep finds. Oh, so I did have creep finds here. Whoops. I've got water in here, haven't I? Not in that one, in this one. Yeah, I've still got these. Don't really want to use them yet. Vital signs stabilizing. Right, advanced materials. Yes. Make a synthetic fiber. Come on, we can do this. Yes! Wait, what do I need? What do I need? Reinforced dive suit. Two diamonds and two tiny... Two titaniums. One, two. I've got a titanium somewhere. I've surely got some titanium somewhere.
Titanium, titanium. Pretty sure I put you inside the sea moth. Come on, please. Yes! Yes, yes! Let's get the reinforced dive suit on, shall we? And if there's anything we need to pick up down in the lava zone, lava will not. Well, if you go in the lava, obviously it's gonna hurt, but swimming around in the heat is not gonna hurt us no more. Yay! Why am I going? Go here. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. Swap items, swap items. There we go. I got the reinforced dive suit on. So I no longer need you, radiation suit. For, well, not now, anyway. Whether there's going to be anyone at Oh, yeah, Jay Brown, I got your locker back. I'm going to get the other guy's locker back. I think his name was Declan. I may be wrong about that, but I remember having two lockers. Both of your lockers are going to be back up sooner or later. So, on our next episode, we're going back to the lava zone. And I, for one, cannot wait. I mean, I've got the right equipment to go down in. I'm not going to get burned when I'm there. In fact, where's my char batteries? Because I'm running quite low on every battery. Is it in this one? No. This one? There's one. Huh. Okay, I don't have many batteries left. Well, all I have to do is just do that and unload the batteries. So let them charge up. I'm just going to take this, these two out. And that, them two. Didn't mean to do that. So, yeah, guys. We're getting quite far into the game now. And I'm going to leave it there. Because the next episode, we're going back to the lava zone. Finally. In fact, take you guys out there. Put you in there instead. Because this was originally going to be just for salt and coral tubes. But now I'm kind of using it for everything else. But anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Nathan playing Subnautica. And as always... I'll see you on the next episode. Bye!